Hey guys, I was just asked about spacers and um, I was asked about like what is the thickest spacer you can put either front or rear wheels and it really depends on the amount of usable thread that you have on your studs and um, the way to determine that is um, you can either use a caliper and just measure like inside there to see how much thread you have but the best way actually is to do it through uh, rotation of the nut. So right now everything is torqued down. I loosened up one of the lug nuts. So take it off. So now you know that the thread pitch on the studs and the lug nuts is 1.5 millimeters. So that's the distance between each little ridge. So as a result, with every revolution, every time you turn the lug nut 360 degrees, it's gonna move forward 1.5 millimeters. So what you know, you can just take a look here at this uh, hole on the socket and put it at the top and count how many times you see this uh, revolve around and then you multiply that by 1.5 and that's how much thread engagement you have with your particular wheel because it actually may differ depending on the wheel uh, every wheel has different thickness of the mounting point so and the other thing like what it brings to, what it brings down to is the safest engagement of thread is uh, the width or the thickness of the bolt so the bolts that we have on Scion TC are 12 millimeter so they're 12 millimeter in diameter so the minimum amount of thread engagement you have to have is 12 millimeters so knowing that um, and knowing that the thread pitch is 1.5 millimeters you know that you need to have at least eight full rotations of the lug nut these are already extended nuts that I, uh, extended studs that I have here in the front but I'll just demonstrate and see what are uh, the largest spacers that I can put in the front here so I just look at this right here at the top and I'm gonna keep it at the top I'm gonna put on the the lug nut and now I'm just gonna rotate clockwise and count how many revolutions it takes for the um, the lug nut to stop rotating so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven 12, 13, 14, 15, and 15 and three quarters. So I have 15, we'll say 15 and a half rotations. So as a result, I need to have at least eight to be safe. So I have 7.5. On, uh, <clears throat> 7.5 rotation that can be replaced by a spacer so 7.5 times 1.5 is roughly 11 or 12 millimeters or so um, and so as a result with these extended studs that I have on there right now I can put safely about a 12 millimeter spacer so uh, so do that with stock wheels or other wheels that you have and you will be able to determine uh, what is the widest spacer that can you can put on this does not apply to bolt-on spacers bolt-on spacers work completely different I'm talking the ones that are pretty much like a washer they're gonna um, reduce the thread engagement on your factory uh, studs so just remember you have to have at least eight full revolutions on your uh, lug nuts and disregard the lock the wheel lock for this because they're their engagement is a little bit less I noticed uh, but there's four lug nuts so they're gonna be gripping enough as long as they're gripping at least um, 12 millimeters which is 12 uh, rotations that's good enough and 
That's it.